Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Joey Logano's Shell Pennzoil Richmond Wind Dual Autographed Elite from 2017. As always, let's take a quick look at the box right here. As you can see, for 2017, for the Elites, they actually went back to the classic box. No window box here, just the nice classic tiny box. I wish they used this forever because, I mean, I don't really mind the window box. Like, I like seeing the car, but there are so many better ways they could have done that box. Seeing this box is kind of nostalgic and it actually looks better, but whatever. It's just kind of a still generic black Elite box. You can see you got the features of the Elite. It's got the kind of chrome Elite sticker, which is nice. Made a total of 114 of these things, 2017 RCC Elite. Said I wish this was artwork box. I don't like generic boxes like this, but this is still, the box shape is still better than the current window box. But anyways, here is the car itself in all of its scallop glory. I'll just get out of the way. <laughs> Cucumber. <laughs> That's getting out of the hand. Everyone just like every single time you post about this car, shows off this car, every comment is <laughs> cucumber. They forgot the cucumber. I hate the Sif fandom sometimes. But anyways, this car of course comes with a few different things. You've got your race winner sticker. You've got your little bag of confetti. You've got your RCCA certificate of authenticity. You've got the certificate of authenticity for the Todd Gordon autograph. You've got your certificate of authenticity for the Joey Logano autograph. Which is yelling out my camera. <laughs> You've of course got a nice Joey Logano 300th Cup Start sticker. See it has the Joey Logano logo and all that. This was his 300th career Cup Start. It's pretty awesome they actually gave us a sticker because you know half the time they skip this unless it's somebody else. Like oh Dale Jr. he'll get a 600 star sticker but anyone else? Ah screw that. So that's cool. And of course you have your race winner card with all these stats and all that. If you saw my post on Instagram a few days ago, pointed this out, Monster Energy NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Lionel, the king of the fact check. <laughs> How do you even screw that up? <laughs> and it's trademarked. Yay. But anyways, uh, let's get down to the car itself and do a quick 360. We continue on in the path of Joey Logano gets one race to win a year and nothing else. <laughs> Because every single year since joining Penske, he's gotten one race to win. They've all been the scallop car, sadly. I really just want him to win in another car. Like, I love this paint scheme. This is an awesome paint scheme. It's iconic at this point. I love this paint scheme. But just please win in something else. I want to have, like, a AAA race to win. Or maybe a Pennzoil, like the special Pennzoil car race to win. Or a Darlington throwback race to win. Or something. It's getting out of hand at this point. He can win in this car too, but I just want at least one race win from another paint scheme, or just win in another paint scheme at least once this year, please. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Shell Pennzoil. You got Ford Fusion, number 22. Down the side, you got Shell Pennzoil. You've got Auto Trader and Snap-On. And you got Discount Tire and SKF down there. You got AutoZone and SKF. You got Ford Go Further, DXC Technologies, PPG, Mazak, Coca-Cola, and Bosch. Of course, got the winner sticker up there. This does have the NASCAR green logo on the A-post. Regular contingencies and all that. On the back, you have Shell Pennzoil, 22 crew, number 22, and Ford. On the deck lid, you got 811, know what's below, call before you dig. Nothing on the roof, of course. This is number 93. Then you can see Todd Gordon's autograph on the rear window. And of course, you've probably already seen it, but there's Joey Logano's autograph on the front window let's take a look under the hood which i'm not going to open too far because these elite hoods are easy to like make the tethers rip off and stuff but it's a shell pencil and powered by ford there's the elite engine detail if you want to see that the back of the deck lid also has your you know tethers and all that and an elite still not sure if they're continuing that next year when they kind of downgrade the elites but as of right now they still have the tethers so that's cool the roof flaps do open, but they don't really open very well with cars like this because of the tethers. And there's actually a little parachute bag in there, if I can even get it open, which... There we go. You can see it has a little parachute bag on the side there. They added to the Elites this year, so that's cool. And now it's not going to go back down. <laughs> they also added with the Elites, you got a little bit of a camera pod actually molded on the back there. This car does have a little mirror, too. The Elites does have a little mirror on the poster, if you can see that. This does have the digital dash in there, which you probably can't see at all, but... This is updated to the digital dash. This would have the antennas if I actually remember to put them in. <laughs> Whoops. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. A little more detailed than the ARCs, of course. Those have the DIN plate on the back, too. 
But anyways, let's get down to damage. You see on the front it is just very, very dirty. Typical short track tire buildup and dirt. All that good stuff. Got a big mark on the left rear right there. Or left rear, left front. Down the side you got some nice donuts. Looks like he was beating and banging with somebody. Got a big donut there. Donut through the 22. Donut there. Looks like the piece of the 22 is chipped off. Got a big mark right around the wheel well. That looks pretty cool. The lettering kind of rubbed off of the tire back here as well. The left rear is very dirty. For some reason, a lot of the Fords this year have been dirty in the left rear after race wins. I'm not sure why that is, but like Brad Kozlowski's Auto Trader Atlanta win, Ryan Blaney's first win, all have had like really dirty left rears. It's kind of weird. See, it's kind of dented in on the back there too. On the back, you got a little bit of a chip right there. Looks like, you know, somebody hit him and kind of chipped through the red decal. So that's cool. Down the right side, you got more scuffs and dirt. A bunch of tire build up behind them, both tires. Some there and some there. Just tons of dirt and stuff. This is one of those cars that's not crazily dirty, but just kind of interestingly dirty. You know, has just a bunch of little marks and dirt and tire build up and tiny little marks and tiny donuts and just looks good. One of those just looks good in a display case, but doesn't need to be crazily detailed. Or not detailed, but crazily damaged. You can sell the confetti on the top too. Kind of disappointed that that Joey Logano 300 start logo wasn't anywhere on this car. They didn't like add it like right there or add it maybe on like the bottom of the hood or something. I don't know. It was more just cool that we actually got a dual autographed Elite of this car. There is a non-autographed Elite of this car that's only like one of 30 that I actually I did get to. Because <laughs> basically I pre-ordered the regular Elite. Because anytime I get... There's, if they make a Joey Logano Elite, I'll get it. That's about the only Elites I get anymore because they don't make them very often. But I pre-ordered the regular Elite. And then like two weeks later, they're like, here's a new dual autograph car. I'm like, oh, we've never, gotten Todd, we've never gotten Todd Gordon's autograph before. I guess that's cool. I'll pre-order that and just cancel the original one. And then, like, I found out they're only making, like, 30, the original one. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> there is an ARC of this car, too. You know, if you don't want to buy an Elite, you can still get this car. It is a very interesting race win. The whole encumbered thing does make it kind of interesting. But that really doesn't bother me in the least because he wasn't fast. <laughs> like, when Martin Truex Jr., like, Kentucky, like, dominates the whole race, has, like, a 20-second lead, and, like, if that car fails inspection, it's like, okay, yeah, he's cheating. But this car was, like, 11th all day. He was not good. He just used a pitch strategy to get to the lead and then win so it's really not that big of a deal to me everyone just sees every tiny little like infraction there's something that was like an inch off and everyone's like oh those filthy cheaters i don't think anyone knows how these things actually affect the car at all because half the stuff they get busted for really didn't help them in the least and wasn't the reason they won a race so whatever i think that's pretty much all there's to say this has been a review of joey logano's shell pennzoil richmond win elite hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching